Hello everyone, this is Toodles again. Um, this is, I'm going to go over how you guys can have all of our hats in here to select from. And also how to make sure you have a folder that has all your socks in it. So you can just scroll through and choose which sock you want. Okay, so for starters, you need to go on the mod.io and you need to look up the XL menu mod for Skater XL. Download it, get your Unity Mod Manager open, drop the zip file right here, make sure you have Excel Menu Mod installed. And what this does, you can read about it here, but real quickly, um, it's going to allow you to have your Skater Excel folder, your gear folder, and then you can actually separate everything into these folders. So when you go on to the character menu, you'll have for our sake, you'll have your skins folder and then you'll have your socks folder and then you can separate it per drop. Um, and so for this, we have an upcoming drop that is for um, Krusty, one of everybody's favorite skaters. Um, and say you just downloaded this drop, you would open it, take all of these, shift click, copy and then I'm going to make a folder for it rusty drop this is in my socks folder and I'm going to open it and paste everything in there all right so everything from that drop is in here you can see you have your sock each has a mask and a normal and then what you want to do is you're going to go back out to your skins folder and if you followed the last tutorial you should still have your empty skin templates um, that you can apply the socks to and you're going to right click on this one on your mail body open it in your photo editor and this is gonna be the workflow for how you get all the socks from one drop into the game and this is the easiest way that I've found to do it so you have this right here, and then you're going to go back into the drop that you just put in your socks folder. You're going to select each of the albedos, which is just your sock PNG, and do not get the mask of the normal. Um, and then you're going to want to just drop them onto here. And a lot of these are the 4K size, so you might have to resize it. Um, some of them are smaller, are the 2K, like the normal 248, 248. For me, I'm putting on the 4K, so I double the size. Alright, so once you got them all in there on your skin, just go to the very first one. I have a keyboard shortcut for um, exporting as PNG. I made it Alt Control X. It's a keyboard shortcut. So I will press Alt Control X, export it as a PNG. I'm going to go, you got your documents, Skater XL, gear, skins, socks. Then we, there's the drop that we just put in there. So this one, you're going to look down here. Uh, it's Native Diamond Rim SL, which is the last one. You just click on it, it automatically changes the name. You save it, and you're going to replace it. And then what you'll see is now this has been replaced in the drop with your mail body. And so you're just going to go through that, and you'll do that with each of these. Uh, once again, you take this name, you find it in here, click on it, it changes the file name down here, save it, override it, and you're good. You'll see sometimes if you haven't given the program time to catch up, it will just export as the base. 
skin, so you're going to have to go back. I mean, my computer is not that fast, but it's not that slow and it still does that sometimes. Alright, so now you can see you have everything labeled. It's already male body. The bodies are ready to go. That's the full drop right there. You're just giving yourself 14 new socks on your body at this point. Um, and then you need to go back to your skins where you have your blank skins. You take your male head that you want to use. You bring it back into crusty drop. You're gonna, you copied it before and you paste it here. There's 14 socks in here. It's labeled on the drop 14 socks, six different patterns. So you want 14 different male heads. You copy it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So now I have 14. All right. So then you're gonna go up here. You just take the part that's not the male body. Control copy. Go down here, and you're gonna paste it over everything after male head so now that applies to that and you're just going to go through and you're going to do that for each one all right now you got all of your heads matching your bodies because you just copied and pasted from each of these um the these names already coincide with them because that's just how you dropped them out of the drop and you just saved it as or wrote it in Photoshop so everything should be named correctly. The only thing you can double check is to make sure there's not double underscores in the things you just copied. Um, but these all look good so uh, your crusty drop should be good to go. Um, if you open up the game then you should be able to go to character and go all the way over to the end to custom skin tones, socks, and there's our crusty drop right there. And now you can just change out your socks, super easy. And you're just changing them out like you would anything else. And I want you guys to be able to do that. You got your normals working, um, and then you can just fit out your person way easier than how I've seen some of you doing it so um, hopefully that helps and then we also have a bunch of the gear utilities hats and if you don't know what that is that's like the vacation hat and the cowboy hat if you don't have this gear utilities when you press G on your keyboard then you need to go to mod IO Go to Gear Utilities for Skater XL by Dog Vinci. Download it. Put it in your Unity Mod Manager. Make sure your utilities is status is okay. It's installed and everything. Um, and then you wanted to use anything from our Origins Pack. Um, these hats right here the bones, the vacation hats here, or the cowboys hats. After you install gear utilities, or documents in Skater XL, you'll have a gear utilities folder that will be installed. Double click in there. All you do is drop the vacation hats in vacation, and you drop the cowboy hats in cowboy. And boom, it's that easy. So then when you go into here, um, one thing about these hats is they're, I don't know what it is, I don't know if it's the mod, I don't know what's going on, but they have like a weird darkness to them. It doesn't look that bad in film, it looks kind of weird as long as if there's not direct light on them. But, um, so for vacation hats, um, you just open up the gear utilities, make sure that you've removed your in-game hat by going to options, remove hat, and then um, you're going to select, select whatever hat you want, if you want the cowboy hat, it's like cowboy hat. I really like the dirty one. Um, so then that's gonna look like this. There's your cowboy hat, you're chilling, and you can go through, look at the different ones like that. 
um, but you're if you're in replay, you can't go over to the vacation hat and choose a vacation hat like that. It's not going to work. So you exit out, choose the vacation hat, um, and then you can go, you know, say I want this one, sure. And then go back into your replay editor, make sure you're facing the light, and then you can see all the different vacation hats. And choose which one you want. And yeah, we just got a couple coming out, so I wanted to teach you guys this before you can't use all this stuff when it comes out. Um, but yeah, I hope that that workflow with the socks helped. I hope that understanding the gear utilities hat help because we're going to be putting out a lot more of those. And if you have any other questions, let me know. If the normals aren't working, reach out, rewatch the tutorials. Um, it's definitely worth it to actually have some sock texture on your socks and the extra work that I'm putting in uh, will pay off that way. So um, yeah, I hope to see more, more clips with our stuff. All right, take it easy.